Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Abdullah Al Kamil, and this is the third episode of our Excel training. In the last episode, we talked about flat tables, cross tables, and we learned the difference between the two of them. In this episode, now we're going to look more at the application of flat tables and cross tables and how we can use both of them to complement each other to come up with the right solution for your data problem. So to do that is to, uh, we need to look at it in examples. Uh, let's say you work in a company that sells, you know, hardware devices and your company just decided to establish a call support, you know, center um, to answer customer calls, be it uh, complaints or inquiries and whatnot. So your manager wants you, you know, to create a daily report so you can follow up, you know, on the daily operations. And uh, he wants in that daily report, he wants uh, the employee name who, you know, answered the call and you have eight available. And he wants to know what the problem category is. This is what it, his concern at the moment. He wants to know about the problem category, not about other call types. So be it software, mechanical or electrical. And he wants to know what time the call was received and how long the call was so the call duration and um, he wants also the daily total for each category and the daily total for each employee so when you think about that and this is kind of the information that your manager wants you will most likely end up with something similar to this report here so you have the employee name at the leftmost column and um, you know after that you have the time received and call the time uh, time received and at the top there you can see the problem category and when you cross the problem category with the name you get the duration and at the right here you can see the total minutes for each uh, employee and at the bottom uh, it's not showing in uh, in this image it also shows you the um, the total for the problem category so this report is okay your manager likes it and it works fine but after you know three months your manager said, okay, can I get a monthly report? And this is where things get complicated because, you know, creating a monthly report of 30 files like this one is, um, is not an easy task. It's going to involve a lot of manual work. And the reason why, because it's a cross table. Okay. So uh, the way you read this uh, report is you go from uh, the employee name, time received. So you say Ahmed received the call at 1055 and it was a software problem and the call took nine minutes. This is how you read it. So you cross the problem category with the employee name who received the call. So the table, the way it is at the moment is a cross table and you cannot merge cross tables together when you know they are in shrink and grow you know they're not the same structure every time so it's not an easy task so how can we fix this so to fix this is to understand the difference between storing data and displaying data so storing data is normally done in a flat table in a flat table that only you or whoever is using the system enters the data in it and the output or the display is going to be something similar to this report. So the problem here that we have is we have the display, but we are using the display as a means to enter the data. And this is why we failed to produce a monthly report. Okay, I hope that it's clear. So how can we design our flat table to enter our data? So some concepts you need to keep in mind. So the first thing is data is captured only to get reports and summaries and statistics later. So some data sometimes is not going to be used, you know, for statistics or summaries or anything. So they are better off out of your you know system so you don't have to record them so this is something you need to be economical you know when you decide what data to keep what data to discard so it's something to keep in mind so designing your table starts at the output report but in order to design your output report you need to sit down with your manager first and understand his or her requirements uh, your manager is your customer you need to have that empathy you need to have that understanding, you know, um, to feel his pain, to feel, you know, what he wants exactly and how he's going to use it. OK, and after that, you design your output report and you can show your initial concept with your manager, kind of make sure that this is the direction that he he wants to go in. 
and also you need to list all the aggregation that is needed you know and check the uh, effective zero values you know that average and minimum are mostly affected by the um, zero values so if your data has zero values at some point you need to have some sort of a way to kind of um, take that into um, consideration and then you start designing so the first thing you need to design is your basic data columns so the first thing you need to design in your flat table is the basic data columns and the database uh, and the basic data columns is basically any data that you enter manually you're not selecting from a drop down menu or you know using any calculation so it's entered manually and then you design your category columns and this is any columns that the data is entered by selecting a value from a drop down menu and um, category columns are useful to aggregate data later on so something like call type call type is limited to a uh, few entries so it's um, it's convenient to have them in in a drop down menu and uh, the user can select you know what the call type was and then later on you can aggregate by that call type and say okay how many calls i received for that certain call type and then the last thing is the calculated fields so you design your calculated fields and the interesting thing about calculated fields they can either give you a categorical value or a numerical value and a categorical value is something like uh, the month and um, calculation value is something like duration so it can give you both and calculated values uh, because they are basically a calculation whether it gives you a categorical value or a numerical value it can be added at any time so putting these concepts in a flow chart so we have discussed with our manager and then design output reports design basic flat table add categories add calculated fields and the last thing which is very important is formatting our data as a flat table and it is a feature in excel that we're going to look at how we're going to use it later on so discussing with our manager in this purpose they involve involved calculations and at what level uh, is it at employee level or department level or maybe a region level or some other levels you know involved in the data that we have and also the future uh, data required or future information or reports required in the same data so sometimes your manager is occupied on a you know a certain view and he wants this information only but maybe in the future he will think about other information so it's your job i mean to kind of uh, recommend uh, some other you know reports and other data because you can start collecting data about about it now and it's uh, while it's available because um, in the future maybe when he asks about them the data will not be available to produce what he wants and then design the output reports it can be a cross table or other format uh, think about subtotals and grand totals what are going to be and uh, what's going to represent column headers or headers or values in the case of a cross table and then designing the flat table which is going to be influenced a lot by designing the output report something that is a good practice is to define a primary key column for um, your table and uh, the reason for this is is going to give an id to each row and that will be useful if you migrate the data later on to a uh, database or something like that or use it in other application or connect to it through other application like uh, power query or other format and um, then add the basic data fields so any the data the basic data fields is basically anything that you enter manually and also something that you need to think about now is defining your data type because um, flat table columns each column should have one data type only you cannot mix uh, numbers and text in the same column okay it's going to be either text or a number and then you design your categorical you know uh, columns and uh, basically um, a category is any feature that few rows share okay so you can categorize them with that category and then you have the calculated fields and can be used as we said to add the new category or uh, define a calculation at row level and formatting as a table basically tells excel that this is a table and this is a database table a flat table and 
treat it likewise. All right, and after you design everything, your table will look something like this. So you have the uh, the basic data tables here, um, basic data columns, and then you have the category columns and you have the calculated fields. And remember that any flat table that you design or you have at the moment is going to follow this criteria. It's going to be uh, structured this way. So applying the same principles to our uh, example here uh, so discussing with our manager we learned that he wants the employee in category he wants the number of calls and the total call duration but he also wants daily weekly and monthly summaries now designing the output reports he wants a uh, cross table so he agrees with that he likes it and um, the grand totals you know for all employees but also for the um, problem types as well the basic flat table is going to be, you know, what we have already in that uh, uh, in that cross table and the original report. But in order, you know, to create our flat table, we found out that we need more columns. So we identified that we need the ones in blue here. So call ID is a new column that we added to the basic data. And we have the date for because we had the original uh, report was a daily report so the manager was not really concerned with the date he was concerned more with the time but now since we're gonna have a flat table we need to have the date and we need also to have the call end time because we're gonna use it with the start time to come up with the duration for the call by applying a calculated field later on here okay now um, the basic flat table also will have the name but most likely we're going to move it to category here because it is a drop down menu in the end so what we had before in the uh, original report was a problem time but because we talked to our manager we kind of recommended to have also call time device model and problem solved or not to be added in the data um, so we can use it later on to come up with reports uh, because something like um, the success rates of our call center will depend on how many problems we uh, solved uh, versus uh, unsolved problems so those were not asked by uh, the manager we recommended them and this is where the m meeting you know with your manager is very important because you can brainstorm you know what can you get out of the data and then the calculated fields is all new uh, so we have the call duration is going to be a calculated column year month week and day name is going to be calculated columns as well and the last thing we're going to do is format the data as a table as we uh, discussed so after you design it is going to look something like this so you have in green here the basic flat uh, data uh, columns and so these are the ones that you're going to put uh, manually and then you have the categorical you know uh, columns here and so you have the name drop down menu problem type drop down menu and so on and so forth at the far right here you can see the calculated fields or calculated columns where we calculate call duration year month week day name so basically this is how your flat table is going to be for our example basic data categories calculated fields and this applies to any table that you're going to be designed and after you apply all of that you will get this nice looking table then this is what a flat table is uh, looks like each row basically gives all the data that there is about one call so each row here represents one call that is something that you need to keep in mind always so the event that you are tracking here is one call per row so this is the flat table that you're gonna uh, end up with all right so this is the end of our episode for today um, thank you so much for watching in the next episode we're gonna be looking at this example you know and how to do it in excel uh, step by step Okay, so thank you so much for listening and hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you so much.